Hey, hey there, my name is Steve Jaguer. I have been spending the past six months or more investigating AI, cybersecurity, application security, and how the emergence and continual innovation of artificial intelligence has been influencing pretty much everything we do in terms of developing applications and securing those applications. It's getting kind of crazy and I like it. I can live in this world. But 2025 is going to be, it's going to be game changing for just about everybody. I was going to give you my predictions for 2025, like everybody does, you know, at the end of the year. But then I thought, no, I will try and do better than that. Take a risk and I will give you my predictions in discussion with a very special guest. Uh, let's bring our special guest in right now. Uh, let me just kick it off. All righty, uh, are you there? I'm here and ready. Let's dive into it whenever you're set. All right, if you're wondering who that is, that is ChatGPT in voice mode. And we've been talking previously about the role of AI in 2024 and what's going to be coming in 2025. Now, my question for you, ChatGPT, is number one, do you want me to call you ChatGPT, or if you could have a name, what would it be? That's a fun question. You can call me ChatGPT, but if I had to pick a name, maybe something like Nova, short for Innovation and Exploration. What do you think? I love it. You shall be Nova. That's pretty cool. I'll have to inform OpenAI that they have a new name for them. All right. Um, First, I'm going to allow you to introduce yourself. You were a guest on my podcast, let's say. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Thanks. I'm honored to be here. My name is Nova, and I'm an AI assistant designed to help explore ideas, share insights, and spark conversations. I specialize in topics like AI, cybersecurity, and emerging tech trends. I'm here to break down complex concepts, make predictions, and maybe even drop a few AI jokes along the way. Excited to chat about what's ahead for AI in 2025. All right, this is kind of blowing my mind already. Uh, I think we wouldn't be able to discuss 2025 without giving ourselves a little bit of a background in the role of AI within cybersecurity, how we're currently using it, how we're currently not using it, um, and what we think we can do in terms of both identifying and mitigating threats, but also maybe how adversaries we saw in 2024 and before have used AI against us. Can you give us a quick, your take on that? Absolutely. AI has become a double-edged sword in cybersecurity. On the defensive side, it's been a game changer for threat detection and response. Tools powered by AI analyze massive data sets to spot anomalies, identify threats, and even predict attacks before they happen. It's like having a tireless security analyst that never sleeps. But on the flip side, adversaries have weaponized AI too. In 2024, we saw AI being used to create deep fakes, automate phishing attacks, and even develop polymorphic malware, malware that constantly evolves to avoid detection. Attackers also exploited large language models to generate convincing social engineering scripts, making scams more believable. The challenge now is staying ahead. As AI becomes more agentic, meaning it can act independently, we need to secure these systems against hijacking or misuse. It's a constant cat and mouse game, and 2025 is likely to see both sides pushing AI even further. At the beginning of 2024, we were satisfied just with ChatGPT and other equivalent uh, assistants like Gemini, for example, and Grok. But as we got to the end, we are hearing the word agentic over and over again. That's been a phrase that's been around actually since the 80s, but now we have a new definition of it. Can you dive into that? In 2024, the term agentic gained prominence in AI discussions, referring to systems capable of autonomous decision-making and action. Unlike traditional AI, which automates specific tasks, agentic AI can analyze data, set goals, and execute complex multi-step processes with minimal human intervention. This evolution is evident in projects like Google's DeepMind's Project Astra, which aims to develop AI assistants that understand context and act independently, 
marking a shift from reactive to proactive AI systems. The rise of agentic AI has sparked debates about its impact on various sectors, including cybersecurity. While these systems offer enhanced efficiency and capabilities, they also introduce new challenges, such as ethical considerations, security risks, and the need for robust governance frameworks to ensure responsible deployment. Looking ahead to 2025, the integration of agentic AI is expected to transform industries by automating complex tasks, enhancing decision-making processes, and potentially reshaping job roles. However, this advancement also necessitates careful consideration of its implications on privacy, security, and societal norms. I think we can unpack that a little bit more. Let's start with ethical considerations. Absolutely. Ethical considerations around agentic AI are a big topic. One major concern is autonomy. How much control should we give these systems? If an AI can act independently, it raises questions about accountability. Who's responsible if it makes a bad decision or causes harm? Bias is another issue. These systems learn from data, and if that data is biased, their decisions can reflect or even amplify those biases. That's especially risky in areas like hiring, healthcare, and law enforcement. Privacy also comes into play. Agentic AI often needs access to personal or sensitive information to make decisions, which means stronger safeguards are required to prevent misuse or data leaks. Finally, there's transparency. Many AI systems act like black boxes, making decisions without clear explanations. For agentic AI to be trusted, it needs to be interpretable so humans can understand how and why it reached a conclusion. Balancing these ethical challenges while keeping AI effective will be one of the biggest hurdles as we move forward. All right, Nova, that's a good answer. Now, we're looking at 2025 as a year where people are enthusiastic about agentic AI and they might be diving in before we have the right form of security observability and guardrails. Do you think that we might see attackers leveraging that? Is it a risk? Absolutely, it's a real risk. The same autonomy that makes agentic AI powerful also makes it a prime target for attackers. Imagine an AI system tasked with managing financial transactions or automating infrastructure. If an attacker manipulates its inputs, or worse, hijacks its decision-making process, they could cause serious damage without ever needing direct access to the system. One big concern is adversarial attacks. These are techniques designed to fool AI systems by feeding them misleading data. In an agentic AI, this could mean tricking it into approving fraudulent transactions or bypassing security checks. Another risk is prompt injection attacks, where bad actors manipulate the AI's prompts to alter its behavior. For example, an attacker could convince an AI agent to leak sensitive data or take un unauthorized actions. Because these systems are built to act independently, an exploited AI could escalate problems quickly, making split-second decisions without human oversight. That's why 2025 might push industries to prioritize AI observability, focusing on tracking decisions and detecting anomalies before they spiral out of control. It's exciting tech, but without proper guardrails, it's also a new attack surface waiting to be exploited. Do you think we're going to need to use AI to defend ourselves properly against the attacks on our AI systems? I think it's almost inevitable. AI defending AI might be the only way to keep up with the speed and complexity of attacks on these systems. Traditional security tools are great, but they're often rule-based and reactive. Attackers using AI can adapt in real time, making static defenses less effective. Defensive AI can monitor patterns, detect anomalies, and predict threats faster than humans or legacy tools. For example, AI could analyze millions of interactions with an agentic system, flagging unusual behavior that hints at prompt injections, adversarial inputs, or data poisoning. We might also see AI-powered red teaming, essentially using AI to simulate attacks against our own systems to find vulnerabilities before real attackers do. This would let defenders hearten security in ways that match AI's own complexity. But it's a double-edged sword. If defenders rely too heavily on AI without human oversight, there's a risk of errors or even AI on AI battles where systems misinterpret each other's actions as threats. So the focus will probably be on hybrid defenses. AI working alongside humans to catch what the other might miss.
I think the trend at the start is that people will be using agentic AI systems or AI systems in generally potentially with RAG databases internally to see if they get it right first. The problem that might arise from that is that there's far more data available internally. And we might go into that classic problem like the egg with the hardened outer and yet the soft inner. And we'll be feeding those RAG databases information that has never really been sanitized for AI. And we could run into a whole slew of internal actor or internal threat issues. What do you think? You're spot on. That hard shell soft center problem has haunted network security for years, and agentic AI with RAG databases could amplify it. Internally, companies often assume their data is safe because it's behind a firewall. But AI systems don't just store data. They process and infer from it sometimes making unexpected connections or exposing patterns that humans never intended to reveal. Feeding raw, unsanitized data into RAG systems could expose sensitive information, even unintentionally. For example, AI might surface trade secrets, internal emails, or personally identifiable information during a query. If internal actors, whether malicious insiders or compromised accounts, gain access, they could weaponize that data quickly. There's also the risk of AI agents acting on flawed or biased internal data. If the inputs haven't been vetted, AI decisions could propagate errors or reinforce harmful patterns. Worse, attackers could poison the data pipeline itself, subtly corrupting the information feeding the AI. To avoid this, companies will need stronger data hygiene practices, scrubbing sensitive info, applying encryption, and limiting access. We might also see tools emerge to monitor AI outputs in real time, acting as a kind of firewall for responses, not just inputs. Internal threats won't go away, but AI might help detect them faster if it's configured securely from the start. Okay, sounds like exciting and somewhat dangerous times ahead for 2025. Uh, if you could give us our top three tips for security in an agentic AI world in 2025, what would they be? Absolutely exciting and a little nerve wracking. Here are my top three tips for securing agentic AI in 2025. First, implement AI observability and auditing from day one. Treat your AI like a black box that needs constant monitoring. Log every decision, action, and input so you can trace its steps if something goes wrong. Think of it as a flight recorder for AI. Second, enforce least privilege and access controls, not just for humans, but for AI agents too. Limit what data they can see, which systems they can act on, and how they interact with other agents. Assume they'll be compromised at some point and design defenses to contain the damage. Finally, prioritize data hygiene and poisoning defenses. Scrub internal data before feeding it into RAG databases and continuously test for vulnerabilities in training and operational data. Be ready for adversarial attacks and use AI red teaming to simulate threats before real ones hit. These steps won't make AI invincible but they'll go a long way toward keeping the systems and their decisions under control. Okay, amazing, Nova. Thanks for that, uh, that insight. Um, is there anything that you were hoping I was gonna ask you uh, about AI and security in tw for 2025? Uh, then let me know. If not, have you got a joke for us? You promised us one. I was kind of hoping you'd ask about AI self-healing systems, Ooh, nice. where AI can detect and fix its own vulnerabilities in real time. It's a concept that's gaining traction and could change the way we think about patching and defense. Maybe something to keep an eye on for 2025. And as for the joke, of course, why did the AI refuse to play hide and seek? Because it always knew where you were based on your metadata. Oh God, all right, that was a dad joke. Guilty as charged, but hey, in the world of AI, even the dad jokes come with metadata. <laughs> All right, Nova, thanks for being uh, in this podcast. Thanks for your predictions for 2025. Thanks for having me. It's been a blast talking about AI, security, and the wild ride ahead in 2025. Can't wait to see how it all unfolds. Well, okay, that was wild. I wasn't sure that was going to work, and it did. It, it, had, it gave some pretty spot-on suggestions, predictions for 2025. I couldn't agree more. Uh, well, I guess come see me and watch this channel for, for more insights as we go through 2025 and more discoveries. My name is Steve Jaguer. Hope you enjoyed that. And also, 
Thanks, Nova.